guys, Kat here, and today we have a legs, booty, and cardio workout. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest, and remember to go at your own pace. During the 15 seconds, I am going to be explaining what movement we have next, and then that way you will be all set to rock and roll. George, all right, let's get warm up. Roar. All right guys, let's start out nice and easy with butt kickers. So go ahead, bring those knees slightly in front, and then kick that booty. That core nice and strong. Oh yeah. Oh, today's gonna be so fun. So fun, you guys. Three, two, one, and alternate back lunges. Now, make sure when you're doing these that you keep your back nice and flat. You can lean forward a little bit. And then we're gonna sink straight down. So you don't wanna push back or shoot forward. Sinking midfoot to heel on that front leg. If you can't sink down all the way because of knee issues, that's okay. You can always use like an elevated stable surface or the wall or something to stabilize and go down as far as you can without any issues. Remember, everybody is different. Three, two, and go ahead, bounce it out. Rotate those arms forward. Boy, see, today is gonna be so fun. <laughs> I keep saying that. It's mainly because I'm trying to convince myself. No, I'm just kidding. Three, two, bring it all the way back. And it will be no repeat unless we go to the other side because I don't want you to look funny. So if there's a certain move that you're like, ah, don't worry, we're only doing it one time. Three, two, one, and feet out wide. Let's go ahead, we're gonna sink down, side lunges. Alternate. Now you want to think about pushing your booty back and then straightening out the other leg. Sink down. Again, midfoot to heel. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and flat. Sinky, sinky. Keep it going. Let's go two more. One on each side. Last one. And go ahead. Bounce it out. We're going to come into a plank position. So hands under the shoulders, press into down dog, bicycle out those knees, getting those calves nice and warm up, getting those shoulders, keep it going, three, two, one, shift that weight forward and then press back. We're going to keep on flowing through, make sure you're keeping that core nice and strong, again getting the shoulders, getting the core getting the quads warmed up. Let's go three, two, and take that right foot, bring it to the outside of the right hand, open up the chest, and we're gonna alternate. Step on through, bring it up, and switch. Really opening up the chest, saying, hello world. It's gonna be a great day. <laughs> Keep it going. I double up. As Sesame Street. No, I'm just kidding. All right, go ahead. Other side, and then we're gonna go one more on the other side. Woo! From here, bring the feet together, and we're gonna rock it side to side here, opening up the hips. If you can't go this low because of your knees or anything, you can just sink down, lift up the heel, and keep swiveling side to side. This is really, really nice to open up the hips. Three, two, one and slowly come up, bounce it out. Yeah, oh yeah. Three, two, and we're gonna squat down, kick. So alternate legs, we're almost done with the warm up. Then we're gonna get right into slaying that workout. It's gonna be a good one, guys. Keep it going, sinky, sinky, and kick. Sinky, sinky, kick. Finish it out. Let's go one more on each side after this. Sink it, kick. Last one, kick, and let's finish out with some skaters. So side to side, try to hover the back foot, but if you need to tap it and walk it, that's okay too. Back is nice and flat. Keep it going. Nice job, guys. If you wanna make it more challenging, Touch the ground, but make sure you come up in between. We don't need to put any more. 
pressure on that lower back, but we don't need to. Let's go two more. Last one. All right. I think we're ready to get started. Yay! 15 seconds. I'm gonna grab a pair of 15 pound dumbbells. I also have 10 with me. First move, we're gonna go with the back lunge. Stabilize, single leg squat. Stabilize, stay on the same leg. If you can't do the single leg squat, I want you to stick with back lunges. You don't need to use weight, or you can use just one weight. Remember what I said about the back lunges and the warm up. Sink straight down, elevator, not escalator. Back is nice and flat for the single leg squat. Whew, yeah. Now I want you guys to remember which leg you're working right now, which leg is in front and stabilizing, because we're going to be using it again. The next move. Sink down. Again, back is flat. Keep it going, guys. Sink it. Come up. You can touch down in the middle if you need to. All right. I'm gonna go. All right, I'm gonna drop one weight. So, whichever leg you're just stabilizing on, you're gonna step to the side with. Go in the side lunge. Feet together and hop. Okay. So step to the side. Back is flat. Again, just like in the warm up with those side lunges. Except we're adding weight. Because why not? I don't know. Why the heck not? And hop. You can take the hop out and make it a cat raise. If you're like, cat, <laughs> you crazy girl. Especially if you're using more weight. And hop. We gotta get our cardio in though, right? Yeah. Here we go. Finish it out. Sink it down. And top. We're almost there. And then we're going to repeat the last two movements on the other side. All right, so go ahead and grab the other weight if you want to. One side might be more challenging than the other. So make sure you listen to your body. You got that back lunge. Stabilize. Single leg squat. Stabilize. All right, let's go. So back lunge. Stabilize. Single leg squat. Now I try not to touch my back knee to the ground just to keep time under tension for the stabilizing leg. But sometimes when I get tired, <laughs> my back knee can touch. 20 seconds, guys. Keep it going. Make sure I remember to keep a nice flat back when you're doing that single leg squat and the back lunge. Almost there. Try not to curl your toes to stabilize. Think about using your entire foot. Go ahead, drop that weight. Some of you are like, how did she know? How did she know I was curling my toes? I know all. All right, other side. Step to the left, and then I'm gonna have a dumbbell on the right hand. All right, let's go. Back is flat. Keep it going. And hop. Sink it. Hop it. We're here to get stronger. We're here to challenge ourselves. When we're working legs, they're big muscle groups. So if you find yourself really out of breath, that's normal. It's pretty normal. But we're gonna keep getting stronger as we push through. Remember, this is a video. So if you need to pause it, rewind it, whatever your heart's desire, you can do that. Just please don't pause it when my face looks funny. <laughs> and top. All right, guys, go ahead. I'm gonna drop both weights. I have just one. Two squat jumps, front kick. So we're gonna go one, two, front kick. And just one front kick. Alternate legs, three, two, let's go. Back is flat. Try to get to your, uh, to your 90 degrees for those legs. At least 90. If you want to add weight, you can. If you want to make it a calf raise, you can take out the plyometrics. And kick. Keep it going. And kick. Nice job, guys. Give the quads a break after this, and we'll go into some single leg deadlifts. Yes. 
I love those. And kick. Finish it out. Yeah. Up and kick. Four, three, two. All right. So I'm going to grab both weights. You can use one if you want to. Whew. Stabilize on the right leg. Bend that stabilizing leg slightly, hinging from the hips. Come up. You can tap the ground if you want. So make sure you have a flat back. Think of being like a water bird. You're hinging from the hips. Yeah. She feels in the back of the legs. Make sure you have a slight bend in that stabilizing leg. You can't say it enough. Do not lock out that knee. We don't need to put that unneeded pressure. Whew. Try to keep your hips as parallel to the ground as possible. Sometimes I flex my foot in order to help with that. And it really helps if you have mirrors or something. Check yourself. Whew. Four, three, two, and done. All right, so before we go to the other side, I'm going to actually drop both weights. Stabilize in my right leg. Bring my left leg in back, curtsy, stabilize, back kick. And we're gonna stay on that same leg. So, curtsy, stabilize, back kick. Make sure your back is flat. Up and back kick. Nice strong kick. Okay, up, boom. So we really get those glutes. Getting stabilizers here. Hello, core. <laughs> Hello. And up, and kick. Keep staying on this leg, pop, nice and strong. You can use weights, but to be honest, they're unneeded after pairing those last two movements. Whew. And pop. Finish it out, sink down, okay. All right, so next up, we're gonna go with that single leg deadlift, other side, shaky, shaky. Remember, pick it up the weight safely. Back is flat, come up, stabilize on the left leg, hinge from the hips. Bend the stabilizing leg slightly. Doesn't matter how many reps you're getting in, as long as they're perfect. So make sure you're keeping form the whole time. Keep it up, guys. And up. Shoulders back. Hinging from the hips, not leading with the dumbbells. All right. The goal is not to touch. You don't have to touch the ground, okay? I stop a little bit after my knees. And then I come up. You always want to think about whatever muscles you're working. So I'm going to drop both feet safely. And then I'm going to go back into that curtsy with back kick. Stabilize on the left leg. Curtsy. Stabilize. And back kick. Let's do it. And then we're going to get into some cardio. <laughs> As if our heart rates aren't up. And kick. Make sure you're challenging yourself with weight, guys. Okay. As long as you can do the movements perfectly, try upping your weight. It's not going to make you bulky. It's not going to make you manly, unless you want to be a man. <laughs> That's cool too. You do you. Um, but it's really, really good to challenge yourself. Getting stronger. <sighs> Sink down. Come up. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. Ooh, my booty! Alright, I'm gonna grab one weight. I'm gonna grab 110. Okay. <laughs> I don't want more than that. Knee pull skips. You're gonna bring one foot back, drive your knee in. So this is a standing abs movement as well as cardio. So think about crunching. If this is too much, you can bring one foot back, do some knee pulls, five on each side, and then alternate. Keep hopping out, guys. Strong. Think strong. Think with intention. You want to crush that core. Keep it up. Almost there. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, done. All right, next up. We have a skater with a deadlift, so really working on st 
stability here. We're gonna do that skater, like in the warm up. Stabilize, deadlift, okay? So one skater really makes you stabilize and add that deadlift in. All right, try to bring your foot behind you for the skater. Stabilize and modify if you need to. Don't forget, we don't want to lock out that knee on the stabilizing leg. And take your time, okay? You don't have to get a ton of reps in. I really want to challenge your stability here because stability is so important to work. Keep it stable. Nice job, guys. You can be super strong, you can have super endurance, but if you don't have balance, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle. Whew. And done. Next up is short switch lunges. Now, this is pretty intense, okay? So you wanna keep your feet close together, back is flat, jump and switch. Jump and switch, keeping our back flat. If that's too much, you can stick with back lunges, jumping or not. Okay. So for this one, take your time, keep your feet close together, keeping your back flat. Okay, I'm just going in a circle <laughs> because it's fun. This is a quad burn, if you didn't realize. Now these next few movements are gonna be crazy for your quads. I am so, not sorry, because <laughs> I like to challenge both of us. Oh my gosh. Five, four, three, two. Oh. <laughs> All right, next up, sumo squat pulses. This was so mean of me. <laughs> Toes out. Keep your chest up, and we're just gonna pulse it, okay? Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, let's go. Now, try to get to at least 90, but as you can see, my hips are up more. I do not have the best flexibility in my hips, and I'm working on it, though. Like, every day working on it, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to accept that my hips are tight. I'm going to work on it. Whew, shake it out. I've been saying that for years, but this time I'm actually working on it daily. So if you have tightness, make sure you work on it just a little bit every day. A little bit goes a long way. It's better to do a little bit every day than just like one session every once in a while. All right. Oh gosh. Side to side uh, touch downs. Keep your back flat. You don't have to touch the ground if you're, you're uh, backgrounds. You're sitting down. Bring your arms up side to side. Okay? Now, if you need to, you can step. All right. Keep it up, guys. Keep it going. Sink it up. Stinky, happy, 25 seconds. Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> we got another quad burn after this. Keep it going. But we're here because we want to push ourselves. Short workout, guys. So let's keep going. Four, three, two, ow. All right, next up, half burpee to squat pulse. Coming into plank, hands on the shoulders. From here, you're gonna put your, bring your feet in, come up, pulse, come back down. Modification, step back, step up, stand up, and squat. Make sure your back is flat. It's really easy for this one to come here, but make sure your chest is up, okay? Try to get legs at least 90. We'll see. We'll see where they are. Keep going. Come on, guys, I'm suffering with you. And by suffering, I mean having fun. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Oh, okay. Next up. Feet out wide, 
turn your right foot out, bend that knee, warrior two, arms out. From here, you're gonna turn, stabilize in a warrior three, step back, warrior two, okay? So if you've done yoga, you know these movements. It's actually like a little, like a lunge here, turning, and then a deadlift here. Remember not to lock out the knee, but the stabilizing leg, you better be staying on the same side. If you're not, you're just gonna alternate next again. Keep going, guys. Sink it down, turn. Oh my goodness, that right side is burning. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Five, four, three, two. Okay, we have the other side. I'm gonna grab a drink. Don't forget to hydrate. Okay. So, I'm gonna turn my left foot out, sink down, and do the hokey pokey. <laughs> and come back. All right, I get that heart rate back up after this. So get ready. We have a fun booty bird at the end, as if our booties aren't feeling it already. <laughs> Keep having a slight bend in the stabilizing leg. I have to say it so often because I know it's easy to go into autopilot, but I want you guys here with me. Okay, I want you to think about every single movement with intention. And that just that doesn't just stop at yoga. Make sure you bring it into every single movement you do in your workouts. Whew. Whew. Okay, so burpee and four ankle taps. At the beginning of when I used to start filming, I would say like, just think about something else when you're doing this intense movement, but I wanna take that back and be like, no, 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 no. Think about every single movement, my muscle. Okay, burpee, come up, four ankle taps. All the way down, all the way up. If you can't do that, you can do high knees or high knee skips or whatever. Down, up. Modify the burpee if you need to by walking it out. Let's go. All the way. One, two, four. Good job, guys. We're almost to booty work. And then we'll get a little break from that, right? One, oh, bear crawl. Now, we're gonna start with a regular bear crawl. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Come on the balls of the feet, pop up. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Keep your back as flat as you can. Now, keep your hips down. Keep your knees as close to the ground as you can, okay? That is working your quads. <laughs> If you want to start moving into a circle, just make sure you really think about moving opposite hand, opposite foot. Back is flat, knees are down. Let's go. This is fun. This gets your heart rate up. Finish it out, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Yay! We are on to booty. So, come into tabletop again. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Lift up your left leg, toe flexing towards you. Tabletop lift. Lift. Squeeze your butt. All the way. I should have gotten a little mat for me. Probably run and get it. Squeeze your butt. Now, you can make this move easy or effective. Make it effective by squeezing your butt every single time your uh, foot comes up. Squeeze, squeeze. Let's go guys, we're here for a reason. We're here to kick our own butts or squeeze them. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, done. 
15 seconds. I went ahead and grabbed some mat. Okay, so from here, same leg. You're gonna bring it up, kick out, back and down. So fire hydrants. I learned this one from Jillian Michaels back in the day. <laughs> so bring it up, kick out, squeeze your butt, bring it back and down. Oh, Jillian. Oh, Jillian. Loved your workouts. 30 seconds, guys. Keep it up. Up, kick, squeeze your butt, back and down. I know a lot of you have done your workouts before. Whew. Keep it up. 20 seconds, guys. Up, kick, back and down. We're gonna stand this leg one more time and then we'll switch. I am gonna grab a weight for this next one, but it is not necessary, but it's fun. <laughs> fun and effective. Three, two, one. So I'm gonna stabilize on my left foot because that's the one I've been kicking out. And I'm gonna be on the heel of it. My other knee is close to, as close as I can. You're gonna press up. Whew, I'm putting the weight, go ahead, on my hips because it's the most comfortable place. This is a single leg hip thrust. And I'm bending my right knee in because it helps to neutralize my spine so I'm not bringing my lower back into it. Uh, <laughs> this is fun. Now I want your glutes to feel this, hammies. Hello. Y'all think squats are the best for your booty? False. <laughs> hip thrust, baby. <sighs> squats are great, but hip thrusts are the real winner when it comes to building the glutes. Combination, even better. Oof. Exhale up. Uh, whew, I'm, I always wonder, I'm like, why don't they call it a hip thrust booty? It's always squat booty, but why not hip thrust? Okay, so this time we're gonna go right side, lift, squeeze your butt. If you have ankle weights, feel free to add them. I do not, I never have, and I kind of wish I had them. <laughs> that would be super awesome. Squeeze your butt. Why the heck not? Keep it up, guys. We are on the home stretch, and then we're gonna, speaking of stretch, we're gonna stretch after these movements. Lift, lift, squeeze that booty, guys. Remember to please leave a comment so I know how you guys did in the workout. Even if it's just a bar, it just makes me so happy to see you. I'm not just talking to a camera. And you guys really exist. <sighs> Sometimes I'm like, am I on the Truman Show? And those are just auto-generated. No, I'm just kidding. And done. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna do fire hydrants on the right side this time. Ooh, so sweats. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Whew. Hands on the shoulders, knees under the hips. Raise that right leg up, kick out, back and down. Up, kick, back and down. Whew. Keep it flowing through, guys. Whew. Kick and back. Up, kick, back and down. We only have one move after this. Stay strong with me. Oh, you guys super thirsty lately? I'm so thirsty lately. <laughs> Up, kick, back, and down. Sometimes we only have a few movements left. I'm like, I can wait for water. It's like thinking about the water is like the best thing ever. And done. All right, single leg hip thrust. We have the other side or this right side if you want to. And I'm gonna place this weight right on my hips, as long as it's comfortable for you. Bringing the left knee in, we're gonna press through the right heel. All right, let's go. And press, squeeze your booty at the top, make the most out of this movement. Let's go, let's go. Oh, do wait up, I wish the timer. Let's see, 30 seconds, guys. Up and down, finish it out. Whew. Exhale, up, 20 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Oh, do we? Oh, we strong. We're gonna finish this together. We're gonna keep going. Why not? We got five, four, three, two, 
and done. Oh, we done. We're so done. Get out of here. Let's leave. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, we're gonna stretch it out. Remember, if you do have to go, please do like the video before you go. It means so much to me. And also write a comment if you want to support my channel. There's a link down in my description. It helps out so much. So thank you guys so much. Let's stretch it out. All right, so we are going to have our feet out wide. Funny position, but whatever. All right, so from here, keep your back nice and tall. Walk your hands forward as much as you can while keeping that flatness in your back. And breathe. And then slowly make your way down. And let's go ahead, walk your hands over to the left and collapse into it here. Let's go back tall, walk it back, other side, come down, and then, and then relax here. And bring it back to center. Oh, so nice. Okay, let's go ahead. Come into our hero's pose. Okay, if this is comfortable for you, if not, we're gonna come up anyway. <laughs> we're gonna bring our right leg forward, press into it, getting the hip flexors um, in back, right here on the left. Breathe here, nice and tall spine. If you're feeling stable enough, we're gonna go ahead and twist over to the right. Breathe here. If you don't feel stable enough, you can. You don't have to do this movement. And bring it back to center. Sandwich that foot. Walk it back. You can hang out here. You can hang out here. Or if you have the flexibility and your body allows, you can hang out down here. Whew. Breathe. Leg workouts, man. <laughs> They're really fun. And let's bring it forward. Bring your hands to the inner part of that foot, and we're gonna take that right hand, and we're gonna press the knee out, so we're opening up that hip. Now remember not to resist this stretch. We don't wanna tense up the muscles, otherwise it's counterproductive. So make sure you relax it as you push out, really concentrate on your breath, really melting into it every time you exhale. And bring it back to center, and switch. My nose gets so sniffy when I work out. <laughs> Let's go ahead, come back into that lunge, deep lunge. Other side. So sneakies. If you feel stable, go ahead and twist. Breathe. Remember, you can keep getting better at this workout. You can add more weights. You can try to get more reps as long as you're your form is perfect. And go ahead, sandwich that foot, walk it back. Wherever your body allows you. Ooh, that was my knee. It's fine, it didn't hurt. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle if you want to. Bring it forward. Hands to the inner part of the foot. From here, let's press it out. Remember to not resist the stretch. Just breathe here. Go ahead, we're gonna bring that foot back. And I want to get that lower back a little bit. So we're gonna go to cat camel. I always wanna call it cat cow. No, it is cat cow, it's cat cow, dang it. Okay, so hands on the shoulders, knees to the hips. <laughs> and exhale, press palms, fingertips to the ground, tuck the chin, the chest, round that back. Inhale, open up the chest as if someone's pulling a string from that chest. Eyes to the ceiling, relax everything in your face. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead, bring it back to center, shake it out. And let's turn side to side, look behind you, get those hips a little bit more. And let's go ahead, bring it back to neutral, walk the hands back, curl the toes underneath, let's shift those hips up, relax that neck. And breathe. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time, letting your neck be the last thing to come up. Roll up the shoulders. 
Now, if you have a wall behind you or beside you, whatever, what you're gonna do is, can you see this wall? Okay, good. You can see this wall. I don't wanna just be like, hit my butt. Um, we're gonna have our left foot, the ball foot here, and then lean forward into the stretch. We're stretching out the calves. Really nice to do after those skaters, especially. And go ahead, switch. Breathe here. A little wall. This is where you give it a hug. Yay. <laughs> and go ahead, bring it back. Roll up the shoulders. You got one more stretch, guys. Most important stretch of them all. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. Arch bar, arch bar, arch bar. We are number two. We did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy awesome legs, booty, and cardio workout for the day. I want to thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. If you could, please like the video before you go. I'll give you a second. Or like five, because I'm still talking right now. Just click that button. Is it over there? I don't even know where I am right now. Alright, thank you and also please subscribe to my channel for more awesome workouts every Monday and Thursday. Friday, this Friday we have a live workout at 10 a.m. CST. So I hope you guys can join me either way. I'm going to post it after so you guys can always kick booty to it whenever it is possible for you and your schedule and all that jazz. And I think that is all I have to say for today. So. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Oh yeah, if you do want to support my channel, there's a link in my description. It says support my channel with an arrow. Greatly appreciate it. Anything and everything. Thank you so much. So I hope to see you guys soon. Roar!